Novak Djokovic is one win away from equaling Roger Federer's record of six ATP Finals titles. Novak Djokovic reached his eighth career final at the ATP Finals with a hard-fought 7-6-5-7-6-6 win over tournament debutante Taylor Fritz in the semifinals. The world number eight came back from a breakdown in the second set to reach the championship match where he will face either Andrei Rublev or Kasper Ruud in his bid to win a record equaling sixth title at the year-end finals. Djokovic and Fritz took to the court in the Pala Alpator for the first semi-final of the day, with the Serb bidding to reach his eighth final at the ATP Finals while the debutante was looking to make it to the championship match in his first attempt. The five-time former champion at the tournament showed his sportsmanship early in the match as Fritz's serve was called out in the very first game but Djokovic conceded the point as he agreed it was in. The world number eight was the first to pounce as he broke to love to lead 3-2 but he immediately got himself broken straight back, hitting back-to-back -back errors to gift the American the game. Both men continued to hold but didn't look as strong as they had throughout the week, with Djokovic hitting just four winners en route to a first set tiebreak while the 25-year-old fired off 14 unforced errors. It was the 35-year-old who earned the first mini-break courtesy of an error off the Fritz forehand but Djokovic gave the mini-break straight back as he dumped the ball in the net before they changed ends level at 3-3. It was the Serb who had the first set point on set at 6-5 and he managed to convert it with a booming forehand winner, taking the opener 7-6-5 in just under an hour before leaving the court for a quick break to get changed. The tables quickly turned as Fritz set up two break points on the Serbs serve in the very first game of the second set and was once again handed the break courtesy of the 13th unforced error of the Djokovic racket. The 21-time Grand Slam champion then looked on the verge of more trouble as he hit his first double fault of the match at 2-4 down but he held on to stay just one break behind the American.